Alrighty, so starting off this episode of Pokemon Red, uh, we learned Water Gun, so I wanted to learn it for the first time anyway, so on to the video. What's going on, guys? And welcome back to some more Pokemon Red in the last part. Uh, we made it to Viridian City, made it to Viridian Forest and all that, and, uh, got our Squirtle, uh, raised up, our Squirtle, uh, I raised up my Squirtle off screen. So in this part, we're gonna do Viridian Forest, and now Vir Vir Vermilion City, so, or, uh, Pewter City. So, the thing about Squirtle, and I was water gun now. It's also one level away from evolving. Very sweet. So, since our rival said we don't have any gym badges, I think we should go get a gym badge. Now, if you chose Squirtle or Bulbasaur even, this gym's a joke. But it's gonna have you're gonna have a harder time if you chose Charmander. But anyway, let's talk to this guy. Hi, yeah, I can tell you what it takes to become a Pokemon champ. I'm no trainer, but I can tell how you how to win. Let me take you to the top. I don't want free. Uh, actually, uh. Here's the top of the Pokemon list, but changing the order of the Pokemon, yeah. Pokemon leader Brock, winning trainer Blue, of course, but, um, but yeah, so, uh, it doesn't really say what type of this is, however, stop right there, you still have Yosemite and Brock. If you've seen the anime, you know Brock, he's a rock type, so, yes, he's a rock type gym leader, so, so if you chose, it's definitely a lot, the gym's definitely a lot harder if you chose Charmander, but, uh, this one is actually a new Pokemon we can actually encounter in the wild until much later, but since we know Water Gun, we'll, we'll make quick work of this shim, let's just say. Even with a critical hit doing 6 damage, but, uh, I want to try to see if Squirtle can evolve in this part, but, uh... But, yeah, we're not going to make it evolve through this battle, so, uh, we can thankfully buy potions now, but we're going to make quick work of this shim, actually, but, uh, we defeated Junior Trainer. Darn! I like he has some time, but it's my resistance, so, uh, yeah. I'm Brock. I'm Pewter's Gym Leader. I believe in rock hard defense and determination. The form of Pokemon are all the rock type. If you want to challenge me, find them. Show me your best. And, uh, yeah, Brock would become a staple in the Pokemon anime up until, uh, Diamond and Pearl, but, um, I do, I'm not inconsistent in terms of keeping up with the anime, and I'm not keeping up, with, kept up with them in recent years, but, uh, he's gonna have a Geodude at level 12, however, if you have a Squirtle or a Bulbasaur, this fight's a joke because Geodude is rock ground, which means it has a time for weakness with water and grass. This fight is a lot harder if you choose Charmander. My get my main advice is mainly spam Growl and Bulbasaur Squirrel's also gonna fall, but my main advice if you chose Charmander is to spam Growl six times and Ember to death because they have horrible special defense. So uh I'm hoping I can one-shot this, because Bi can absorb damage and pay it back double. I mean, one-shot. So, yeah, we're gonna evolve. We feed Brock. That was a cakewalk, but, um, I took it for granted. A proof of your victory, here's the Boulder Badge. Receive the Boulder Badge. And also... The Technique Flash can now be used anytime. Also, what? Bowser is evolving! Bowser evolved into War Turtle. Wait, take this with you and receive TM34. A TM can technique can be taught to Pokemon. The TM is good only once, so use it when not to teach a new technique. You can pick the Pokemon carefully. TM34 contains Bide. Your PM Pokemon will absorb damage in battle and pay back double. I'm not a particular fan of that move, however, we are going to go to the shop. Now, um, here's uh, one thing I like to do with the shop, and, uh, Cause that's all we can really do in Pewter City for now, so, uh... I could cut- make this a short part. However... We're gonna, first of all, sell our TM-34 because we don't really need it, and, uh... We don't need, uh... We're gonna buy some more Pokeballs. Maybe buy, like, seven of them. First of all, we're gonna buy some potions. And on top of that, we're gonna buy a few escape ropes. I think we're gonna buy, like, maybe three of them. So, yeah. We've used up all our money, so, um... I'm actually going to go back and uh, heal really quickly, but uh, I guess we can maybe tackle the next route in this uh, part, too, since I don't want to make this a really short part, but... Uh... But either way, the gist of it is uh, we're going to actually uh, go to the next route. And also, I, there's an, the next route also, there's a new team member I'd like to get, so... Uh... 
So uh, first of all, we're gonna face not we're gonna face this train right here. Hey, I'm at your Viridian Forest, so that means the bug catcher. And bug catcher wants to fight and bug catcher sent out Caterpie. It's a level 10 Caterpie, which should make, means it should be a butter free. So um now war this is our first battle with the, uh, using a war portal, so that's actually really solid. So um there is we're gonna get our second team member on this route. So um it's not the most popular of team members to use in a Pokemon playthrough, but it's one I just personally like to use. Now we're just going to use Water Gun, but uh, of course we're not one shotting these Weedles, but uh... And we haven't been poisoned yet, thankfully, but yeah, Weedles only doing two damage, but um... And Bowser's level 17, so uh... And we got a Caterpie, so uh... Thankfully, hopefully we can one-shot this Caterpie now we're at level 17, but, um, which we still can't. <laughs> anyway, so we defeated Bug Catcher, so, um, and this trainer is a very famous one in the Pokemon. Highly short, so it can't be an easy wear. Sorry, kid, but, uh, I'm noticed. I'm actually, believe it or not, the kind of person that wears jeans year-round. Like, I'm not really the type that wears shorts. And since I'm recording this in the middle of October, so, uh, yeah, not really ideal. It's actually kind of chilly out as I'm recording this, but, uh... Now we're just gonna use Bubble Up. Sometimes, like, these weaker attacks can serve PP, but, uh... This is Ekans, the new Pokemon we it's and. This is a Pokemon we can only get in red, but we can't even encounter him yet, so, uh... Anyways, we defeated Youngster, anyway, so, um... I don't believe it. Anyway, so, um... We're just gonna fight all the required trainers and try to see if we can get our team member. Anyway, so, uh, Bugcatcher wants to fight, and Bugcatcher sent out, of course, a level 9 Weedle. Which should be a Kakuna, but at least it's not a level 10 Weedle. I guess the game designers don't intend you to face fully evolved Pokemon at this point in the game, so I guess I can kind of give it slack as... A lot of these older Pokemon games have, like, level 10, 20 Caterpies, but, um... There is a Kakuna, though, so that's solid, but, uh... Caterpie and, Caterpie and Weedle can both be fully evolved at level 10. But anyway, we're at Bowser level 18. And we got, a Cater we got another Caterpie, so a uh, level 9 Caterpie. I think the next Pokemon should be a Metapod, so it'll be our first time with them seeing a Metapod. Got yeah, a Metapod. Anyways, we have Bug Catcher. How close is uh how close is Bowser to level 19? So um Love like one team that's level like uh yeah, it's 490. Well I have one team that's like level 19, the other that's like level like level three. <laughs> Cause that's the level in Canada's Pokemon on this route. So uh yes, we're gonna have to I'm gonna have to grind that one up between uh parts, but um Anyways, yeah, so this is Bug Catcher and Bug Catcher sent out uh Caterpie. A level 11 Caterpie. This should be a Butterfree, so, um... I don't think Butterfree knows confu learns Confusion right away in Gen 1, so, um... Butterfree is actually a solid Pokemon to use in Gen 1 against the first Gym Leader if you choose chose Charmander, but that's only if you chose Charmander, plus... I wouldn't personally use that as a permanent team member either, so... Plus, Caterpie is also harder to find in the Red version, so... Anyway, so, um, what we're gonna do now is, uh, we're gonna go try to see if we can look for our new team member. So, either I'll encounter it or I'll see you guys in a second, but I would like to encounter it right now. And Bowser's level 19. I still haven't found the Pokemon yet. Finally, after chasing him after Jigglypuff for like 10 minutes, I encountered level 3. Now, we are obviously strong with this Pokemon, so my method is... Even though you want to weaken this Pokemon, I'm just going to chuck Pokeballs at this thing till I catch it. It's a level 3 Pokemon, so yeah. 
Yeah, it's all gonna put us to sleep on top of that. So uh, all it's gonna know is sing. And uh, I want to use this on my team to kind of balance it, balance things out because Jigglypuff does not have very good defense or special defense. However, it is an H, it has an HP tank. It can learn really good moves. And on top of that, um, on top of that, um, in Generation One, special attack and defense stats are combined and actually caught it. So because because of that, I want a Pokemon that'll balance it out. That can actually have really high levels and do good, mo learn good moves and all that. High HP. And um, I thought of actually naming the Jigglypuff the opposite of Bowser. So um, we're gonna name it. Uh, why don't we name it Peach? And I'm gonna heal and fight the rest of the trainers. I'll see you guys in a second. Anyway, so, uh, coming back, I also got my, uh, got Peach up to level 7 because I fought all the remaining trainers off screen. So, uh, there's one more trainer we have to fight on this, uh, particular route, and it's this one. Eek, did you touch me? Well, you can just walk all over the grass, but I, I, you can risk a wild encounter, right? Plus, this, uh, last uh, right here is gonna have a, uh, level 14 Jigglypuff, so, uh, we can try it, we might, we will not outsmart this. Plus, this will know, this Jigglypuff will know other moves, so... At level nine, Jigglypuff will learn Peach will learn Pound. So uh, because of that, uh, I prefer to just uh, try to grind it to level nine. I'll do that in between parts. But uh, unfortunately, though, I don't have any Awakening, so it's gonna be uh, that's not gonna be too much of a problem because we're gonna beat the Jigglypuff and Peach through to level eight. That's it. Anyway, so, um, yeah, so, uh, P we're almost done with this, uh, route, actually, so, uh, I guess what we're gonna do now is, uh, cut it off, we're actually, uh, right at the end, so, uh, the, uh, there's just, the end is just Mount Moon, so, um, we're just gonna heal our Pokemon really quickly. Actually, I want to show off kind of one thing really, hit one here, one thing right here. At this particular Pokemon Center. If we talk to uh, this guy over here. Hello there, I've got a deal for just for you. I'll let you have a swell Magikarp for $500. So um, we got Magikarp. We're not going to... We have a water type, so we're not going to use some team. Magikarp is a, is a joke as a Pokemon. It's a punchline because of how bad it is. However, it evolved into Gyarados, which is really solid. One of the best water types in the game. So, um... Yeah, so that's gonna cut it off as part of Pokemon Red. So next time Pokemon Red, we're gonna uh tackle uh hold on a second. Mount Moon, see you guys then.